All right, today we're going to continue our talk about absolute value, but now we're going to include ordering absolute value. So a radio disc jockey reports that the temperature outside a studio changed 10 degrees. What can we conclude from this? Well, we know if it changed 10 degrees, it either went up 10 degrees or it went down 10 degrees. So he should have been more clear. He should have said that, that it changed a positive 10 degrees or a negative 10 degrees, or he could have said it went up 10 degrees or the temperature went down 10 degrees, but he did not indicate a direction. So we can only conclude that it changed 10 degrees, not the direction of the change. All right, so this first part is a review. I want you just to take a minute to pause the video and write an inequality statement about the following from least to right least to greatest. So you're writing an inequality statement, okay? And then underneath each integer, I want you to write their absolute value, okay? So just do that part and then come back. Okay, so this is what I did. I used the number line to help me put them in order because there are so many of them, I didn't want to miss any. So I just started at the first one and plotted it and then the second, etc., etc. Because remember, number line gives us the numbers least to greatest. So now after I plotted them on the number line, I could just rewrite them. Negative 10 is less than negative 9 is less than negative 5 is less than 0 is less than 2 is less than 4 is less than 5 is less than 6 is less than 10. The next part said, below, write each of the absolute values. So the absolute value of negative 10 is 10 because it is 10 away from 0. The absolute value of negative 9 is 9 because it is 9 away from 0, etc, etc. So here are my absolute values. Now explain how each relates to its placement on the horizontal and vertical number line. Well, the absolute values would not be, so it says are they in order? No, because here is 10 10 would now be on this side. So if you have a negative number and you take its absolute value, it switches sides. So if we were plotting that 10, it would be over here. Same with the negative 9 and the negative 5. Once you take the absolute value, they're out of order. They're no longer from least to greatest. These all needed to be flipped over here. So. The negative ones are not in order anymore, but the positive ones are in order. So what needs to occur is to get them back in order, we need to flip them to the other side. So this 5 would go right here, and the 9 would go over here in between the 6 and the 10, and the 10 wouldn't have to go over here. So we're switching, or putting it on the same distance away from 0, but on the other side. So I, this slide will make so much more sense to you if you read the problems and try to do it on your own first, and then come back and check to see if your thought process was the same. So please do that. Please try this on your own first before you come back. It's going to make may, wake, can't talk today, make way more sense than if you just watch me do it. All right. So let's look at the numbers I chose, and I will talk through why, why it works. So your numbers may be different than mine. I'm hoping they are, because that means that you actually did this on your own. Um, but I chose for my set of four integers, remember integers just a number, positive or negative, um, that doesn't have any decimals or fractions. So, four integers such that their order and their order of absolute values is the same. We learned on the last slide that all positives fit into this. So, 1 is less than 2 is less than 3 is less than 4. And then once I took their absolute value, they were still in order. So, four integers that their order and their order of their absolute values are opposite would be this. So, I chose negative 4. It's further to the left, so that is less than negative 3, which is less than negative 2, which is less than negative 1. But when I took their absolute values, negative 4 is 4 units away from 
0, negative 3 is 3 units away, negative 2 is 2, negative 1 is 1. So now these are the exact opposite. So 4 is greater than 3, is greater than 2, is greater than 1. So we'd have to write it the opposite from least to greatest like this. Okay, so the order of your absolute values was the opposite, exactly the opposite of the original. So 3 and 4 were exactly the same except for this non-integer rational number. So non-integer means that we wanted it to have a decimal or a fraction. So I just chose 0.5s for here, all positives, because I know with positive numbers their absolute value is going to be the same order. And for the fourth one I chose all negatives because I knew that the absolute value would be the opposite of order. Instead of negative four and a half is less than negative three and a half, etc. etc. Now the absolute value is four and a half is greater than three and a half is greater than two and a half. So it's the opposite. All right, lesson summary. We know that the absolute value of positives will always have the same order as the positive numbers themselves. However, negative numbers will have exactly the opposite order. And the absolute values of the numbers on the number line increases as you move away from zero. So let's talk about that. The further we move to the left, the absolute values will be greater. So the further we move in either direction, the absolute values or the distance from zero will be greater. All right, that's all for this lesson. Make sure you do your homework and see me if you have questions. We out.